Hey friends, welcome to a four-part series on my home birth checklist. Stick around for all the episodes. Okay, let's go through the supplies that I want to have on hand for the birth. Hydrogen peroxide is going to be used for cleanup soiled bend linens afterwards. This mattress protector is going to cover my entire nicely made bed and keep that clean. I have a bunch of old towels to be used whether I do a water birth or not. And then old sheets. These will just make everything feel less plastic. Mattress protector, birth ball and pump, beeswax candles, and birth affirmations for the birthing space, and a nightgown. It's just nice. Be covered while you're birthing. Um, okay, so let me show you how we're going to prep the bed for labor and delivery. Um, in home birth, there's absolutely no requirement for you to birth on the bed, but a lot of times that's just a comfy, homey space to be in while you're laboring and then delivering. Um, so we want to prepare the bed by having it actually nicely made with the sheets that you want and the blankets that you want to snuggle up in afterwards um, and cover everything up. Make sure you tuck the blankets and stuff up into this plastic mattress protector also um, just so there's nothing sticking out that could potentially get amniotic fluid or blood or whatever else on it. You'll wrap the mattress protector around all of that and then put an old bed sheet that you don't mind getting soiled on over the top of it and then put your pillows and things back on um, and make it comfortable. Um, whether or not you're on the bed for much of your labor or for your delivery, um, even if you just sit back down on it after you've given birth and you haven't gotten cleaned up or anything yet, this way everything is prepped. Um, you don't have to worry about soiling any of your nice bed linens and it's just a nice resting space right after delivering also. Um, so, I'll get the pillows back on and then I'll show you how I continue to prepare. Um, so, if you're up and around, which is one of the wonderful things about laboring at home, the potential of having either your water break or ble bleeding, dripping um, as you're going like from giving birth into the bathroom, say, to get cleaned up afterwards or whatever. There are a lot of things that could drip on the floor. Um, so I like these plastic backed sheets for covering a lot of floor space. It's not super absorbent, but it will catch anything that's drippy or leaky and not let it get through. Usually they want you to have about 25 of these fluff pads on hand just because it's nice to be able to clear away a dirty one during um, delivery um, or in labor. If you're moving around a lot, oftentimes the midwives will follow you around with these <laughs> and just put one under you wherever you are so that if there's a gush of your water's breaking or of blood or something like that, this gets absorbed into that. So here are some ways that you could deliver in this setup. Right on the edge of the bed using gravity, laying back, going on all fours um, up on the cushiness of your bed leaning back against the headrest or the headboard um, or a stack of pillows or you could also move the pads onto the floor and you could have them there um, so that you can use the bed to lean against or even just prop yourself up against and then after everything is said and done and you are off in the bathroom getting 
cleaned up hopefully in a nice herbal bath um, maybe even doing some more skin to skin with baby or maybe daddy has baby for a little while uh, the midwives will quickly come in here they will strip away all of the fluff pads and the plastic back sheets and all of that stuff get it in a garbage bag take off the soiled linens from your bed and the plastic mattress protector and voila your beautifully made comfy bed is still nicely made underneath throw the pillows back on and make a cozy little nest so that then when you come back out and you're ready to snuggle into bed and either rest or breastfeed or eat a meal your space is all ready for you and then the midwives um, will take the soiled linens of towels or swaddles or the sheet whatever else and go start a load with the hydrogen peroxide in it and pour this out and you are good to go.